Okay, so once you've got all of your squares together, and if you haven't got them together yet, then that's okay because the stitch that you're, or the mattress stitch that you're going to do on here is the same as what we're going to do on the sweater. So um, if you find for some reason that your squares don't match up, like if you got a little bit left on either side, like on the bottom or whatever, then I would just go and take a couple, like do a couple more rows of um, single crochet or something on the bottom just to match it up. And then you're going to make sure that your, <laughs> which I didn't do, Make sure that your um, sides are the right side out. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can't. Hang on. Okay. Like, I put these together late at night. Wasn't even thinking. But this is the wrong side. This, where you can see your ridges, is the right side. Okay. Okay. So I did this completely backwards again. <laughs> so, so I have to take that apart and then put them together with the right side. See, there's your little ridges. You want that side up and you want to tack it down or not tack it down, clip it down with your stitch markers. Do that on both sides. And once you've done that, then we can start putting it together. Okay, now that you've got this all together. Now, if you aren't doing these squares, skip over this. Um, this is just about putting this all together. So if you've got your back piece already done, um, then this part doesn't apply. So <clears throat> now I was going to do a mattress stitch all the way down. <laughs> and I realized I'm going to need a really long piece of yarn. And I'm probably going to get all tangled up in it. And I went, nope, no, uh. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet all the way down so that it gives a little ridge and it kind of um, frames the square. So I'm going to take my green yarn and I'll bring you in a little bit here. Okay. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out towards the bottom. I'm starting at the top of the sweater. So, <clears throat> um, I've got a lot of sweater here to deal with, so it's kind of hard for me to keep it all in frame. So, basically, I'm just going to take the stitch marker out. I'm going to start in the corner of both pieces. I'm going to pull it through. There. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do the tails in here too. Okay, so yeah, you're just gonna go into the next stitch on both sides. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the tails. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. And then we're just going to single crochet and then go into the next stitch on both sides and single crochet and keep doing that all the way down and then do it on the other side. <clears throat> now, normally you would be working on the, um, the inside of the sweater. I'm going to do it on the outside of the sweater. You don't have to, but I just, I thought that it would look really cute to have a frame going around this um, these box these squares so that it's not so stark white no well, it's not white it's cream right and it ties in with the tree <clears throat> so and when we get to the end I don't know if it's gonna match up or if I'm gonna have to put some extra rows or something because I think that the squares have more stitches in them than the sides do. So 
I guess we'll figure that out when we get to the end and hope for the best. Okay, we keep on going. And then I'll show you here what I mean. One more. Come on, get in there. Oops. There we go. Okay, so if you oh, put it out like that. Oh, here, I'm bringing you out a little bit. Whoa, whoa, wrong way. Okay, so you see how it frames it? I think that's going to look cute. And then it kind of ties in with the ribbing that we've got going on there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go all the way down both sides. And then we should have this part together. And we'll come back and I'll see how, how this matches up at the bottom. Um, it may end up being that this is going to be longer than the sweater. Or like, I don't know yet. So we'll work it out when we get there. All right. So I had to fiddle around with this a little bit, but <clears throat> at the bottom of my squares, I had, let me bring you out a little bit. Let's see if I can put this up on my desk. At the bottom, I had on the first side that I did, <clears throat> excuse me, I had four extra stitches at the bottom so when I did the other side I had to make sure that I had four stitches at the bottom here to make it match okay now this is where that word that everybody hates comes into play it's called gauge now I personally <laughs> hate that word hate doing gauge swatches and so I don't do them I throw gauge to the wind and I just figure it out as I go. <laughs> so, so that's pretty much what I did. So I'm what I'm going to do to be able to match this up, I'm going to do two rows of double crochet. Because, oh, and there goes my dog again. Because um, the way I see it is one double crochet will probably match two of these stitches. So I'm thinking two rows of double crochet is actually going to work out okay. So I grabbed my um, cream color yarn. And oh, um, when you're doing these rows, uh, this row to attach your squares, make sure that you don't fasten it off and that you leave a long um, strand so that you can make it go all the way to the end when you're done this. Like I said, we're Mickey Mouse in this. All right. If you're not doing these squares, then you don't have to worry about this. If you did do these squares and your squares come out perfectly, yay, you are awesome <laughs> because mine did not. <laughs> I probably could have gone, gotten away with doing a couple more rows around my squares to make it wider but then it would have made it wider going this way as well so we're just gonna fix this and hope for the best wing it as angela would say we're just gonna wing it all right <clears throat> so here's my strands we're just gonna put, put this in the corner and chain up two. I'm sure you guys know how to do double crochet so I'm not going to um, worry too much about teaching you that. So we're going to do, now you may not have to do this and I'm really hoping that you don't, but if you do, <clears throat> just, you know, just wing it. You know, that's what makes this fun. 
is uh, figuring it out as you go. That's called designing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm knocking things over here. Oh, I didn't turn my light on. Hang on. I don't know if that makes it any different, but... Uh, okay. So we're just going to keep going here. And keep going. I just noticed while I was doing this that Jennifer uploaded her tutorial for her sweater. I'm so excited. Um, I'm watching it while I'm <clears throat> while I'm finishing this. So I can't wait to try it. She uses a shell stitch that's really cool. I just love the effect of it. And she named it after me. Can you believe that? Oh, She's so sweet. <sighs> okay. Yep. That's going to work. You see that? So if we do another row of double crochet, that's going to look at me being all brilliant and stuff. <laughs> not. <laughs> if I was brilliant, this would not be, I wouldn't be doing this part because everything would have worked out just fine. Oh. <clears throat> All right, so let me finish this row and get these sides um, stitched up. So once you're, if you if you have to do this, once you finish doing this, and there goes my ball of yarn, then all you're going to do is you're going to continue on with this yarn to the end and cinch it up. Look at that. Matchy, matchy. Yay. Okay, so I will do that and I will come back. Ta-da! We did it! Yay! Okay, so huh, that's done. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to look at the top of your sweater. If I had a room here, that would be great. Oh. Okay, you're going to look at the top of your sweater. Mine's a mess because I've got all my ends and everything. But you're going to measure the top of your... Oh my goodness, I've got too much stuff here. Um, the top of your sweater. <clears throat> and mine is approximately... 29. That could totally be wrong. But my square is about 6 by 6, I guess. 6 inches by, or 5, well, maybe 5 inches, five, six and a half. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to make two more of these. Okay? But you're going to add how, you know, you're going to take that measurement of your square and divide it in half. So say mine's, I don't know, five and a half, six. Then you're going to do <clears throat> three or two and a half to three inches on extra on each panel. All right. Because that'll bring it to the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So. Go ahead and do that. You're going to do the exact same thing as you did with these panels, except you're going to add a couple of inches, however much you need, um, to be able to match this whole width. All right. And so when you're done that, then you can pin, you can use your stitch markers and pin <clears throat> pin it up at the shoulders so that your whole sweater is somewhat together. Try it on. Make sure that it, it fits good. And uh, when I get to that point, I will come back. All right. So that's it for this, this video. All right. So you're going to go and you're going to work on the next two panels. And <clears throat> if you've only done, if you haven't done this piece, that's what you're going to do. 
like if you've got your whole panel without your squares you know just one panel what you're going to do is is do two more sides say <clears throat> excuse me so if your whole panel is what did i say the however long however big your panel is you're going to divide it into two to make your other two panels so oops good grief so mine say what 28 so <clears throat> excuse me so divide that into half it's going to be about i don't know 14 ish inches um per panel okay so just make sure that the when you do the two sides if you're not sure if it's big enough just put your stitch markers in the top with your two pan with your two panels or your your first panel and see where it comes because don't forget you've got girls in front of you right you've got your your tatas so you're going to need a little bit extra room for that um so just make sure that you have enough room all right so if you have to do an extra inch or two or whatever on the front and it overlaps a little bit but it fits over your tatas then that's great it doesn't it that part doesn't matter too much all right but you don't want it to be so tight that it doesn't fit over okay all right okay so we will be back when i'm done that uh, <clears throat> so that's the end of this video and uh yeah i will see you in another few days when you're all done that and we will hopefully get this together and then we can start on the arms okay all right thanks for joining me i will talk to you later bye